back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content that we put out. At this point, we've pretty much got content going out every every 48 hours. So don't stay stuck with your business. And if you want to get in contact with me personally, there's a couple of ways you can do that. The first one is you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call. We jump on Zoom. It's pretty much a discovery call. I discover your idea, your uh, what you're currently doing, your business. I can ask you some really good questions and I can share with you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale what you're doing. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to send me a simple question, you can do that. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com, right? But don't stay stuck with your business. Get in contact with me. I'm here to help. And one of my jobs every single day is to connect with coaches all around the world who have sports training businesses to help them to grow, to scale, get to the next level, right? So they can make their business better and they can help more, more athletes. So today I want to talk about the second sale. So for those that don't understand too much about what the second sale is, right? The second sale is pretty much when you are about to close a client onto your, your main thing, which might be, for example, a three month training uh, package, right? That you've been through the process. So you've had the sales, the initial intro call with them. You've invited them to an evaluation session, which is essentially a, an assessment session. Right, you've gathered all the information. They're a good fit for you. Now you've followed up with them. And now you're looking to close them onto your free month uh, training package. So the second sale is essentially now, once we have them on that that package and once we get them interested and that they want to move forward with you how can then we get them to purchase something else from us so that we can make that 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 initial sale right the the profit from that sale bigger okay so i'm going to share with you three ideas and these are three things that i've done in my training business and these are three things that i help coaches with their businesses as well okay so the first one is essentially uh, merchandise okay so merchandise could be uh, training gear it could be uh, personalized or customized uh, water bottles that players can take to their training session to have it could be training diaries right that they purchase from you to to write down every day what they're doing okay or it could be equipment Right, so it could be personalized equipment that you sell. Uh, some coaches that I I work with, they create these training, um, should we say these training packages, which is essentially has different types of um, equipment and items that they offer clients. That clients then pay a little bit more once they join their program. Okay, so the way this would work is you've got Mrs. Jones on the the final the the final call where you're about to close her onto the three month training package, and what you can say is that okay, Mrs. Jones, uh, we're about to get you registered, signed up for our program. What I would like to offer you as well is we have this this and this available which is it is a requirement for players who join our academy or training program to purchase before they, they start their first training session with us. Okay, so for example, in my academy and in my training program, what I do is when I look to close a client onto, onto my program, it's a requirement that they purchase their training uniform before they get to the the first training session with us. Okay, so on that call, I'm going to be closing them on the three, six, nine, 12 month commitment package. Plus, they've also going to upgrade and to purchasing the training uniform. So everything, instead of selling them a hundred dollar three month training package, for example, okay, you're adding the the difference, which is the 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 merchandise, which is the training uniform, 
on top of that. So instead of paying 100, they're now going to be paying 150, which gets them ready and set to, to join your program. Okay, so essentially the, the second sale, it's a way of adding extra revenue to that final sale that you're making with that client, right? So how can we close that client and how can we make them pay more so that the, the, the total amount that we're bringing in is more than the initial amount you, you've sold them, okay? And essentially, when you, when you sell parents on, on merchandise, Okay, you can make it a requirement that all new players must purchase this, this merchandise, or it could be training gear, you know, water bowls, equipment, that you must purchase this before you become a member of our academy, right? This could also be included in your terms and conditions, right? The player contracts that you're, you're getting your clients to sign. Within it, it's, it can state that it is a requirement to purchase a uh, training uniform before the initial uh, training session. Okay, so that's that's one way you can get that second sale and essentially increase the amount of money you make on that first sale. Okay, so instead of making a hundred dollars just selling them training, you can then upgrade that them to purchasing the training uniform, which at some point, they will need, or you can sell equipment to them, which could be cones, uh, water bowls, uh, could be shin, shin guards, right? It could be anything that you feel that the player will need for your training sessions. Okay, now the second one is a camp or clinic. Okay, so you've got Mrs. Jones on, on, on the line. You're about to close her into your three month training package and what you can do is you can say to mrs jones mrs jones before we close uh, your account and we finalize your your purchase would you be interested in attending our upcoming campbell clinic in whichever month it is okay and what you can say is that as part of being a new member is that all new members who purchase our upcoming Campbell Clinic, they get a 50 or 20% discount of the total amount. Okay, so if the camp is $100 and your, your, your new client is about to, to sign up and register with you, you can upgrade them so that they get that Campbell cl upcoming clinic 50% off, okay? And essentially, they're getting more training with you, which is a good thing. And you've also not just sold them a training package. Now you've sold them into your Campbell Clinic. Okay, so you've the initial sale was the training, but now you've made them make the second sale, which is the camp or clinic. Okay, now the third idea is extra training. Okay, so if Mrs. Jones is looking to do a three month commitment with you. She's ready to purchase. She's ready to finalize uh, and, and make the payment. What you can do is you can offer her an upgrade to her current package. So instead of three months, she could pay six months at a discounted rate so that she, her son or daughter stays with you for longer. And essentially it works out cheaper doing a longer term commitment. Now, some parents may go for that because if they see a lot of value and they they like you, they trust you, they they will be thinking in their heads that do you know what this makes sense to do. If we want our child, our daughter, our son to get great results with coach Leo, then I want them to be training with him for longer. Okay, so instead of 3 months we're going to commit to six months. But what you can do, you can set it up where if you're selling a six month package, what they do is they get the six month for free and they're, they're only paying for five months. So that's one idea. You can also do the same if you're selling a nine month package. 
Okay, you can sell them on an extra, an extra eight months worth of training. And the last month is free or the last two months are free and they're only paying for the remainder. Okay, so these are three ideas that you can make an extra little bit of income on that initial final sale that you're making with the parent. Okay, so when you have gone through your process, you're ready to make, your, well, your client's ready to make that payment, okay, you can then offer them other alternatives and other extras that they can purchase now at a discounted rate so that they're paying more with you and committing longer where, into your program, okay? Now, companies, big, big corporations, big companies do this all the time. Okay, if you go, for example, to a McDonald's, right, and you've gone into a McDonald's or you've gone through the drive uh, drive through, right, and all you want is a quarter pound of burger, right, essentially when you're ready to make that payment, the lady or, or, or the man behind the counter is going to say to you, would you like to add a milkshake? Would you like to add fries? Would you like to add a drink to your final purchase? Okay, so what happens is you've gone in, you've gone into McDonald's to buy a quarter pounder, but because you've been offered an extra, you're thinking to yourself, do you know what? Okay, I might get thirsty after after eating that burger. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a milkshake. I'm gonna go for a a soda. Okay, so that is the second sale, and companies do this all the time. Uh, the ones that are really good at doing it is supermarkets, right? Supermarket, grocery stores. Essentially, when you're going into one of these stores, most people go in there, right? I need to buy uh, a bottle of milk. But when you go in there and then when you come out, you realize, you know what? Instead of going in there for one item, I've come out with four items. Okay. And that that is how these companies make so much money. And that's how... They essentially create the, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth sale with their customers. And you can do the same in your training business, right? So if you need more help with this and if you need more help setting this up, then get in contact with me, right? Like I said, I've done it in, in my business and I'm helping coaches who are currently ha have a business and they're looking to, to grow and scale to the next level, okay? Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.